नमस्कार मैं सी एम मनमोहन जिंदल रजिस्टर्ड वैल्यू इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फाइनेंशियल फ्रॉम मुंबई ऑन फिफ्टीन सेप्टेम्बर टू जीरो टू थ्री ए न्यू एक्ट हैज बीन पास मीडिएशन एक्ट लेट मी शेल डिस्कस ऑन दैट सो मीडिएशन एक्ट टू जीरो टू थ्री was passed by the rajya sabha on august 1 2023 2023 by the lok sabha on august 7 2023 2023 2023 2023 and was so it was first introduced in the parliament on december 22 2021 and the bill was referred to a parliamentary standing committee submitted its report to the rajya sabha chairman on july 13 2022 so this is the chronology of the act mediation act has been enacted to promote and facilitate mediation especially institutional in mediation which is not uh, in operation up to yet uh, so institution of mediation for resolution of disputes commercial or otherwise and force mediation settlement agreements provide for a body of registration of mediators so it provides the opportunities for the citizen that they should act as a mediator and to encourage community mediation so community mediation is also very very important and to make online mediation so now mediation can be done online as acceptable and cost effective process and for matters connected there or incidentally so these are the provisions or characteristics in the mediation act in india the concept of mediation is known historically mediation has been common place in the indian context with the gram panchayat village council serving as the mediator at the community level and to help resolve disputes of parties we all know that in every village there is a gram panchayat there are panch and they settle the disputes out of the courts between the citizens of india who are uh in the nature of little bit civil it has been available as an alternate dispute resolution mechanism for parties in the dispute so mediation is a mechanism that can be tailored to the needs of the disputants offering a highly flexible and adaptable process for dispute resolution. so there is very very Uh, flexible procedure person knows the other party and they can sit together they mediate mean the presence of a mediator it uh, uh, resolve the disputes in a coordinated atmosphere therefore recent mediation act 2023 is a welcome move for the citizen of india now mediation has always been an informal and ad hoc process so earlier it was an informal or ad hoc process where lack of standardization was there varying approach followed by the different mediators tend to have a significant impact on the outcome of the mediation process so every mediator approach is the different methodology but now that has to be standardized the institutionalization of the mediation process and the enforcement of ensuring an agreements through the act will create a trusted environment toward the settlement of the litigation because it is the umbrella of the act it is the umbrella of the uh, law of the land then it will provide the trusted environment towards the settlement of litigations now the salient features are provisions for setting up mediation council of Yeah, so there a uh, council has to be set up by the government of india that is 
mediation council of India. Ensure the confidentiality of the proceedings. So how the confidentiality should be maintained with that recognition of mediation institutes. So some institutes are also between Flores and Indigation Empanelment of mediators. So there will be a huge opportunity for the chartered accountant, professionals, or other colleagues to work as a mediators. Timelines within which mediation should be conducted along with withdrawal options from the proceedings. So a timeline should be either to maintain to and it should be a time-bound mediation. Circumstances under which mediated agreements can be challenged and among others. So what are the benefits? Distributing the work. We know that there is a heavy workload of the judiciary. There are a lot of uh, um, cases are pending in the judiciary. Persons are not getting the justice in time. Uh, uh, days, months, years uh, goes on and on, but uh, the person does not get uh, its justice. So the act certainly step forward in facilitating the ease of doing business in India and easing the pressure on the judiciary. So when the disputes are resolved, then it will definitely create the ease of doing business. The implementation depends on Timely setting up of the proposed MCIs. So how fast MCIs are being created or established that will uh, create and forward the concept of mediation. So this is the conclusion that the Act seeks to institutionalize, formalize the mediation process, which is like to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of the process in future. So efficiency be improved, effectiveness be improved, jagade bhi katenge, so har ka vatavaran banega, aur logo ki prashani jildi jildi dur honne ki koshish rahi. It is further likely to improve the credibility and acceptance of the process among the stakeholders. So when the uh, proceedings, when the works are under the umbrella of the act, then both the parties show the confidence in that and the credibility will increase, acceptance will be increased. With commercial disputes and litigation on the rise, India must embrace new legislation to strengthen its image as an investment institution. So when uh, disputes are much higher in a country, so other countries afraid of doing the investment in that country when they follow a easy exit or easy justice so investment destination will be the india very soon at the end it is on the progress path so thank you very much uh, thank you very much i have tried to the best of my knowledge I ultimate for the better understanding you should go to the Act from the government of India. Bahad Bahad Nivad.